Hey, what's up, everybody? How are you doing? In this video, we're going to talk about uh, one of the uh, new notification uh, which is applicable to the Indian regulations uh, passed by MCA Ministry of the Corporate Affairs, Section 128 of the Companies Act 2013, which kind of mandates every entity to have or uh, to use only that kind of applications which has a feature of the audit trail. Uh, so this uh, kind of audit requirement is with effect from the 1st April 2023. So I'll just go you through the official MC site, and this is the wordings. Uh, so, Prima Pesia, this is the responsibility with the management to use only that kind of applications on which any kind of the financial transactions, any kind of the financial data like the customer masters, vendor master, etc. is stored. But that counting applications or that application should have the feature of the recording audit trail. Right? Now, uh, if you see, uh, many entities use big, big ERPs like the say, SAP, Info, LN, Oracle, which is obviously having the feature of the auditor and they are very compliant with this section 128 of the Companies Act 2013, right with Rule 3. But in case of small scale entities which are still using Excel, not for maintaining the books of accounts, but a part of the books of accounts, let's say the entity is using Excel for maintaining the fixed asset register or employee master. In that case, is it very possible to see, you know, to maintain the audit trail in Excel? So let's find out that. So what I have done is that I'm just showing you to one of the sample Excel fixed asset register uh, template. So this is a fixed asset register template uh, which is been maintained in Excel. And through the help of, uh, you know, VBA Visual Basic Coding, I have kind of uh, uh, tried to maintain the audit trail in this Excel. Uh, so as you can see, there are a uh, lot of uh, columns uh, with related to the fixed asset like the date of acquisition, date of purchase, date of put to use as sale which is used for the calculation of uh, the depreciation, right? So, uh, as far as audit trail is concerned, uh, I will see uh, there are, uh, you know, three kind of transactions, like one is an addition, one is a deletion, and one is a modifications. So, in case of modification of transaction, as far as audit trail is concerned, what auditor should look for is nothing but the field which has been changed, what is the old slash previous value, what is the new and the current value. Right, so uh, let's uh, you know uh, try this or audit trail which has been maintained uh, in Excel. Uh, so as you can see, there is one column called as batch number. Right now, if you see the row number two is blank. So let's say if I input I as an end user inputs the batch number as one two three. Ideally, in my audit trail, this should be logged as the date and timestamp, my username, what is the field which has been changed, which is batch number, what is the sale which has been changed, what is the old value. So old value is blank and the new value is one two three. Right, so I will go to the extreme right to see the audit trail, and you will see the button for the audit trail. If you click on that button, it will ask you obviously for the password. So currently, for the simplicity, I have put the password as one two three four five. And as you as you can see, the audit trail is there. And if you go to the last row, uh, you can see here the addition and the date and the timestamp is uh, matching. You can see the username as admin. So let me just go through. So you can see here is the my username admin. Um, then what is the sale has been changed? So this was uh, probably the D3 cell uh, which was there and the old value should be blank as you can see here and the new value is 1 to 3. Okay. Now let's uh, make it as a modification. So let's say I have changed that from 1 to 3 to 1 to 3, 4. Uh, and I, let's go to the audit trail. You will see another line item as you can see and the transition type is edit and the old value is 1 to 3 and 1 to 3, 4. And let's say if I delete this, there should be another line item in my audit trail which says that the old value was 1, 2, 3, 4 and the new value is blank as you can see here. Uh, this is the auditor. So this kind of trail is uh, very useful to, you know, kind of uh, track the changes which has been made. It kind of tracks all the changes which has been you are doing in this fixed asset register. Now, when we we'll say that whether you can modify this auditor, the, the answer is very much no. This is very protected sheet. So if I type it with the Excel, the pop up that this is the read only sheet. No one can edit this audit trail. I have maintained one more audit trail. Uh, if you can see here is the button and if you ask, if you ask for the password, the password is 654321. Uh, so this is kind of the logs, uh, logging system basically uh, as in uh, where the user is kind of, you know, clicking on this button and irrespective of whether the password he is putting uh, correct or not, this will, uh, you know, kind of maintain the logs. So from these logs, you can get an idea whether the authorized user only is kind of entering into the audit trail or not right so uh, in an ideal scenario this kind of password to audit trail which is a meta excel should be given only to the authorized persons and from this logs you can get an idea is there any kind of unauthorized user who is accessing the audit trail all right 
now going to the another preventive control so one can see that this has been maintaining VBA so someone can uh, you know launch the VBA editor and make the, you know, make the changes so if I go press the alt F11 to launch the VBA editor and if I go, try to you know go peek into the VBA project it will obviously ask for me the password so currently for the simplicity the password is 12345 which obviously show you the code which has been there running for the audit well yeah so this is the uh, actually the code of the VBA which is running for the audit trail. So, uh, Prima Facia, this is the password protected. Only the authorized persons can see and peek into this code. One can say that, in, let's say an admin or user or the authorized user was, you know, uh, watching this audit trail and he saves this workbook or closes this workbook and then another user, uh, you know, open this workbook, this audit trail, both this audit trail should be visible. So, the answer is very much no. There are two triggers uh, which has been in place in this Excel which will automatically hide this uh, audit trail and this audit trail for login. So, let's say if I press Ctrl S, as you can see, both the worksheets are hidden. Uh, and obviously, you will not even see from this option on it. Uh, through the VBA, I have made it very hidden that the only way to see this worksheet is to put here the correct password. And there is one more trigger I have just shown you that even if you don't say it, but just press this close button at the top right, you will see it will ask for the save, but boy, as you can see, both the worksheets are uh, kind of uh, hidden. All right. Uh, so that's it for this video. Uh, I thought like that this kind of video should be there on the YouTube. Like uh, anyone can use this kind of Excel. I will obviously give you the link of this Excel in my description box below. So you can download this Excel and you can kind of uh, customize this as per, as per your requirements so that the audit trail will be uh, very much applicable. Uh, so yeah, if you like this video, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel. And obviously, if you have any kind of questions, do let me know in the comment sections. I will try to answer your question. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye-bye.